got one in the Philly, uh, Philly's final, three-year-old Philly's final exotic dragon. Uh, you know, she's kind of been up and down all year. I think she's got a pretty decent shot. We'll see how Burning Hawk comes back after uh, the mishap there in that last leg. Uh, Graceful Horizon, she's been tough all year. So, well, first thing we got to see how, uh, you know, what the track's like, weather's like. But I, I like her shot. Dragon Energy, he's another one I've had a hard time keeping him healthy all year uh, for the three-year-old Colts. Uh, you know, depending on if I've got him right, he could be a major player or, you know, he might just be a fringe player there. Uh, you know, draw is really going to be crucial for him. He's got to draw inside. He's early speed horse, get him away close and follow along. Uh, title Shark, he's in there as well. Uh, we were hoping more for consolation with him, but you never know. He surprised me before, so we'll hope for some repeat efforts maybe. And then, uh, Two-year-old Philly, Divine Art, uh, homebred of Mum and Diane's. Uh, you know, Mum's out on her, but Diane, Bob Jones, and John Hine, they really hooked the good one here from Keith. Uh, Keith did a hell of a job developing her, and we got lucky that she ended up here. And, you know, she's been ultra consistent all year. She had the no contest, which I think she was going to be real good in. Uh, but, uh, you know, her and Sapphire Blue will finally hook up again. And, you know, we lost the first round, but I think we're... We're poised to get a good chunk of her here this time, so uh, we're going in for a good day. I think we'll, I think we'll, you know, we'll make a little bit of money. I hope. Yeah, optimistic for it all.